In CBS 3 Mysteries tonight, Tony Lee Sharpless was a nurse from Chester County who was last seen leaving a party in Lower Marion and disappeared without a trace. Her case has baffled investigators ever since. Joe Holden reveals the clues left behind and why there is hope that this cold case can still be solved. Tony Lee Sharpless case file hasn't seen activity in several years. The missing nurse from West Brandywine Township, Chester County, was last seen leaving a party in Lower Marion Township the night of August 22, 2009. She had set out earlier that evening for a night of fun in Center City, Philadelphia. I vowed to help the family if they wanted it. Private investigator Eileen Law has poured over the case for more than a decade. It's a cold case to the rest of the world. It's not a cold case to me. Family has long hoped Tony would come home to her daughter. She left so many years ago. When her daughter ran to me saying, please find my mommy crying, that moment, that face uh, changed everything for me. Eileen has worked the case pro bono. Her office is filled with reminders of Tony. A month after her disappearance, a license plate reader got a hit in Camden. The plates were registered to Tony's car. The pushpins on this map track where Eileen received tips about possible sightings. And then in 2012 came the infamous letter. The writer says that he was paid $5,000 to um, move a car out of Brooklawn, New Jersey. It's claimed the car ended up in Boston, but that remains a loose end. Working the case too, the investigator who's been assigned to it from the very beginning, West Brandywine Corporal Russell Moore. Now I believe she is deceased, and uh, I would love to give the family some closure. Tony's family declined to speak with CBS 3 Mysteries. Some years ago, accepting reality, police say they had her declared legally dead. Now the mission of the investigation, to locate Tony's remains and bring her home. Police have ran down, checked off, and disproven most of the theories developed early on. Even one suggesting Tony may have had too much to drink and ended up losing control of her car. They also dredged the Schuylkill River for vehicles. That turned up nothing. For Eileen Law, the case carries personal weight. Some just get to you. They get under your skin and into your heart and very soul, and that's what happened with this. Who knows what happened to Tony Sharpless? I would love to be able to get closure for the family, um, for her daughter, for her mom, her sister. Until my dying day, my last breath, I will look for Tony. For CBS 3 Mysteries, I'm Joe Holden. If you have any information that could help detectives find Tony Lee Sharpless, please call the West Brandywine Police Department. The number is on your screen, 610-380-8201.